Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me for today's music reaction and it's Disturbed. If I ever lose my faith in you. Now, I previously checked out The Sound of Silence, both the studio version and the live version. Both of them were absolutely incredible. Now, ever since I did those videos, you guys have been throwing suggestions at me for Disturbed. Um, in particular, um, Down With The Sickness. And, there's pl well, plenty more. That was one of the main ones. But another one that kept cropping up was If I Ever Lose My Faith In You. And for 10, 20, 30 comments, it just slipped by as just another song by Disturbed. Until somewhere around about 30 comments in somebody actually wrote in brackets next to it sting cover and all of a sudden it clicked as to what song it was and all of a sudden i, I know sting and i know that song so <clears throat> this one really got me intrigued and i thought well everybody's telling me that disturbed has obviously the kind of the side of them where it's the, the sound of silence and then they have this other side the other end of the spectrum where they're a lot heavier and that's the side I think I'm going to have to work my way up to. I don't want to jump from one end of the spectrum to the next because this end of the spectrum is not music that I listen to. And I don't not appreciate it. I have a lot of friends who were in bands. Nothing big and famous, but they were in bands that sang music on this end of the spectrum. And I know how much talent and how much work can go in goes into that sort of music. And the, especially the performing side of it. So I need to work my way to that end. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, we've got ourselves another cover of a great song. And I'm really excited to see what Disturbed can do with it. I'm assuming it's probably going to take it to a bit of a darker place. I can remember the original video to this having a lot of like religious symbolisms in there. So I'm wondering if Disturbed keep a similar kind of vibe to it or if they just take it off in their own, in their own way. So I'm really excited to find out. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's go. You could say I lost my faith in science and progress. You could say I lost my belief in religion You could say I lost my sense of direction Sorry, I know it's early and I just want to jump in. I remember the original. I think the music in the background was... Was it like a saxophone? I'm sure it was something like a saxophone that was playing this music in the background in Sting's version. But I absolutely love the simplicity of this piano. It's really impactful. And I really like what it's doing to the song and how they've slowed it down. So, yeah, so far, 40 seconds in, I really like this version. So let me just knock it back a little bit. And let's keep on going. I'll try not to jump in again. Say I lost my sense of direction You could say all of this and worse But if I ever lose my faith in you There'll be nothing left for me Politicians. They all seem like game show hosts to me.
tried not to jump in, but when he sings that line, if I ever lose my faith in you, he actually, it might just be me, but he actually sounds like Sting. I don't know if that was intentional or if just voices are similar, but it actually sounded like Sing. Uh, Sting sorry, was singing it. It was, it was uncanny. It might just be me. If it is, I apologise. I will not interrupt again. Let's keep going. Okay guys, there it was, Disturbed, If I Ever Lose My Faith In You, obviously a cover by of the Sting classic, and that was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, I mean, they started off taking it a lot slower, and obviously darker than the original version, but I mean, I can only apologise for that last time I stopped it, because I think I stopped it just at the moment that he was about to just go hell for leather into this song. So I totally apologise for that because it totally caught me by surprise the second I hit play. And but that was brilliant, especially when you really cranked it up. It became so powerful. And his voice again is just incredible. We saw it in the sound of silence. We've seen it in this video today. If I ever lose my faith in you, he is an incredible, incredible singer. And I'm really happy that I've kind of gone down this route with them of checking out the the sound of silence and then onto this and I'm gonna work my way up to the heavier side of this band just so I can get the full spectrum and like I say that end of the spectrum is not the sort of music I listen to and but it doesn't mean I don't appreciate it and I am happy to go there but I need to work my way there steadily I think but yeah absolutely love this video again was just absolutely incredible i don't know if it's a running theme with disturbed in their videos all this kind of like dark imagery uh let me know in the comments if it is so i know what to expect next time um but yeah very powerful and a great cover of sting's song if any of you know if sting has heard this and he's said anything about it please let me know that in the comments as well because i can't imagine him being upset by this in any way shape or form this was a brilliant, brilliant cover. So guys, let me know what you thought. Also, let me know about the next disturbed step I need to take. I don't, like I said, I don't want to jump to the end. I don't want to jump to the heavy stuff. I want to take it step by step. So find me another song like this and I'll happily, happily make it the next video. So yeah, until next time guys, take care. Bye for now.